There are multiple different ways to add cinematic bars like this or this in DaVinci Resolve. In this video, I'm going to show you several methods, the pros and cons of each, and then I'll give you a free toolkit with everything you need to create them in seconds. If we haven't met, hi, my name is Tom. I'm a certified DaVinci Resolve master trainer, and I've been a full-time editor since 2004. With this channel, I'm going to share everything I know and everything that I continue to learn to help you get to grips with editing in DaVinci Resolve. Now, the first method is actually not to add them at all. Instead, we're going to change the frame size of our timeline to a different aspect ratio. If you're making a video that will live on a platform like YouTube or Vimeo, you can use this method and they will have no problem displaying them at all. Just right click on your timeline and select Timelines and Timeline Settings. Uncheck Use Project Settings and then under the Format tab, change the timeline resolution to Custom. Then enter in the pixel values for the aspect ratio you want to create. If your footage isn't filling the frame, you may need to go back into Timeline Settings and change the mismatch resolution to Scale Full Frame with Crop and this should fix the issue. There are downsides to this method though. Not every platform will accept non-standard frame sizes. You do have to do some maths to figure out what frame size corresponds with the aspect ratio you want. And obviously, this will affect the whole timeline. You can't have different moments with different sizes. For the next method, you can use DaVinci Resolve's built-in output blanking mode. You'll find that at the bottom of the timeline menu, and they have several presets that you can apply. The downsides of this method you are limited to the preset sizes they've created, and again, this will affect your entire video. If you only want a section of the video to have the bars, or you want to be able to animate them on and off like this, you could either use an adjustment clip with some maths to translate the aspect ratio you need into the correct amount of cropping, or you could use some kind of image overlay. Now, if you go to the video description below, you'll find a link to a free cinematic bars toolkit. Inside, you'll find three things that will help you easily use any of the methods we've mentioned. First, there's a PDF cheat sheet with the different pixel amounts you'll need for all of these common aspect ratios, whether you're working in HD, 4K UHD, or 8K. Next, there's a folder of 13 PNG overlays with some common aspect ratios you can drop on top of your footage. And finally, I made a Resolve preset for you that would create bars of whatever size you want, along with a few customizations. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the toolkit, with Resolve open, just double click on the letterbox pillar box generator.drfx file. You should see a pop up appear asking if you want to install it. Click install, and after a few seconds, you should find it under effects, toolbox, generators, Tom Lyons. If it doesn't show up, you may need to restart DaVinci Resolve. Then just add the generator to the timeline and make it as long as you need. In the inspector, you will find simple sliders to add letterbox or pillar box bars or you can type in the exact aspect ratio you want to use. I've also added sliders so you can add rounded corners and feathered edges, as well as the ability to change the color of the bars to any color or combination of colors that you want. If you thought that was helpful, please consider hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe for even more tips to help you make the move to DaVinci Resolve, including tips just like this one.